Updated October 6, 2017 100,832 Take a guided tour of what the polls tell us about the SAMA 6 marriage survey, then take the reins yourself to explore how the result might pan out. Let us know what you think the result will be in the comments. This chart models possible results of the SAMA 6 marriage survey based on two key factors turnout and level of support. 1. Turn out if a higher proportion of voters fill out their surveys and send them back on time, the market moves higher on the chart. 2. Level of support if more voters choose yes to support SAMA 6 marriage, the marker appears further to the right. The ABS estimates it has received 9.2 million survey forms, or 57.5%. But we don't know anything about who has voted, or how they voted. The most recent essential poll finds 89% of Australian voters say they have already voted or that they will definitely or probably vote in the survey. And it finds 58% of voters support changing the law to allow SAMA 6 couples to marry. But the story is not that simple. Young and old people have very different views about SAMA 6 marriage, so let's take a look at what happens to the model if we split voters into three separate age groups, each with its own marker. The data seen here are based on an average of the last three essential polls on SAMA 6 marriage. Around 10% of people said they don't know whether the law should be changed, so we've assumed they won't vote and have taken them out of the totals and recalculated the proportion of yes and no votes. People aged between 18 and 34 are the most in favour of SAMA 6 marriage, while older Australians are the least supportive. This could affect the result, because there are more older voters than younger voters in Australia, and because some age groups are more inclined to participate in the postal survey. At the moment, polls suggest older Australians are more likely than young voters to have their say in the postal survey. Still, if turnout rates and the yes vote are exactly the same as the essential polls, the overall national result would be 62% for yes. In this scenario, the over 55s would have returned 1.7 million more survey forms than the 18 to 34 age group. Saying you're going to vote is one thing, but how many people will actually send back their survey forms? What happens if only those who say they have already responded or will definitely respond to the survey are considered the result is the same, 62% in favor of SAMA 6 marriage? What happens if we bring those people who told pollsters they don't know what they think back into the equation? Let's assume, as an extreme example, that the SAMA 6 marriage campaign has swayed all of those people to not only return their surveys but to all vote no. How would that change the result? The push to change the law would still be supported, but with a reduced majority of 56% yes votes. Alright, we've seen what the result might look like if the polls are right. But, well, polls aren't getting everything right these days, are they? What if the polls are wrong? Here's an extreme example, where none of those aged 18 to 34 bother to send back their survey forms. Using those in the other two age groups who said they would definitely or probably vote. The yes vote still comes out ahead at 59%. Keep in mind, we've returned to our original assumption here, that all the people who responded don't know in the poll don't fill out and return a survey. But what if the polls are wrong in a different way, and there are a whole group of silent no voters out there who aren't showing up in the polls? Dropping yes vote support by 13 percentage points below the poll numbers across all age groups sees the no vote come out at a head, with 52% against a change. Again, in this scenario, the people who said they don't know have been excluded from the total. Now it's your turn oh we're handing the reins of the graphic over to you. In this interactive version of the chart, the don't know contingent is once again included. This allows you to choose the proportion of the yes vote out of all enrolled voters, not just those who have already made up their minds. There are a lot of unknowns in all these examples, will turn out or the way people vote differ significantly from the polls. We just don't know. Try changing the voter turnout or support for SAMA 6 marriage percentages to see what effect it has on the result. Maybe you can even come up with an accurate prediction. Sign up to hear about interactives, visualizations and good reads from the ABC News digital storytelling team. No more than one email a week, we promise.
about this story data on opinions about changing the law around Samasik's marriage were taken from the Guardian Essential Research poll published on September 5, 19 and 26, 2017 and averaged across the three polls to group of voters who said they would definitely or probably vote on September 26 included the voters who said they had already voted. The number of electors in each age group was taken from the Australian Electoral Commission data on the number of electors eligible to participate in the marriage law survey, published on August 30, 2017. Credit reporter Kath Hanrahan designer Ben Sprague and developer Colin Gawley editor Matt Liddy Topics Federal Government, Federal Parliament, Marriage, Gay Sandals Beans, Australia First posted October 6, 2017 062343